Hello everyone. So in one of my last videos, I was presenting the .NET MAUI, essentially reviewing the platform. And uh, what I try to do is I try to uh, present, you know, how stable the platform is. And at the end of the day, we realized that uh, it's not really stable when I'm trying to use the iOS as a platform. So essentially it doesn't really work well on the simulator. Uh, so in order to isolate potential problems there, what I did is I completely reinstalled my Mac today and there is everything is completely new. There is not even the Visual Studio at all installed there. There is Xcode, there is uh, Mono and dependencies needed, the minimum amount of dependencies needed, developers accounts are connected and, uh, you know, essentially I'm, I'm able to deploy the application to my iPhone. So how do I do this? First thing what I did is I uh, deployed the application uh, to the, uh, I, I opened Xcode, I created a new application and then uh, I copied the bundle identifier to the uh, Visual Studio and I deployed it from there. And as you see here, this is actually my physical device and it's, uh, it's hopefully um, going to load my app. Unfortunately, I was not so lucky so far once and only once I saw uh, the first page, but only once. And as you see here, it crashed. So let me just try to open it again. Let me see what is going to happen. Nothing. It, it just crashes. Now, what I also tried to do is I, I created an empty Maui app and I'm just going to update a version. I, I don't know if this is going to help me at all or not. And uh, I'm going to deploy the uh, empty Maui app. So this is this robot thing that, that they're showing often. And uh, I'm, I'm just wondering, is this going to help me at, uh, or, or not? And uh, what I can confirm for sure, and hopefully this is going to be visible in, in uh, hopefully no time, um, is that the this empty, the template app works as expected. And this is, uh, well, not 100% not as expected because the splash screen is, is uh, a bit uh, fuzzy, but uh, everything else uh, seems to be working fine. Uh, in reality, it's not really, the, it's, it's relatively uh, trivial application, but um, it, works, uh, it works as expected. Now, I'm not sure that I said this already, but I tried to comment out certain pieces of code in, in my application. I tried to comment out the custom control, the, the um, even uh, the application registry, the, the view model registrations, um, really different kind of things. And I was never able to uh, make this make this run. So as you see here, the empty Maui app has been uh, successfully deployed on my phone. I just did the deployment so I can just start the application. I actually have to use the button on my uh, phone. So right here, you see that this app is working as expected. Now, my app doesn't work as expected. And this is the thing that, uh, you know, it's, it's a bit confusing. It's a bit frustrating, especially because, you know, I, I don't see absolutely no reason uh, why this wouldn't uh, work as expected. And um, yeah, it, it's just, um, it's just uh, really, really annoying that uh, my app doesn't work. And um, yeah, just for fun, I'm going to try to do it to, to you know, deploy it again. But um, yeah, <clears throat> it seems that uh, Maui is quite sensitive and it doesn't really, um, you know, enables you to be, to have like stable application lifecycle, but it's going to rather make your life a bit difficult. And uh, to be frank, I had to restart the Visual Studio a couple of times. I had to restart Windows once. I had to restart MacBook once. But I guess this is all part of the initial setup. Right now, as you see, the, the things are going quite quite smooth. You know, okay, the deployment time is not maybe uh, the fastest one, but in reality, you know, there is a, a lot of conversions here and uh, a lot of discussions over the network. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see now the, the, the installing screen on my phone. Let's see, is this going to uh, come up soon? Yeah. 
it is there and I think I press play so the app should even start on its own let's just see did I press did I press play or did I do the deploy let's see no I just press play oops I'm using my mouse to open the app and that really doesn't work but unfortunately um, it crashes again so yeah um, what is the next step I have absolutely no idea uh, I have to figure it out why this thing is failing and uh, maybe I can get some um, you know logs or something like this and hopefully I will be able to fix this up but at the end of the day it is a bit of a yeah annoying things um, with uh, with the app but anyways I just wanted to share this uh, with you and uh, hopefully the um, deployment next time really works as expected so thank you very much and uh, have a great fun working with all this